Right. All right. Oh, my. All right. Good morning, everybody. Today is uh, Lama Bays and Lama Gimel. Sechas baits us. We, we got to the Mishnah on Friday. So let's continue. Ein poichasin asaner yipnei shu aisekli. A person cannot go ahead and basically sort of, you know, take his thumb and, you know, you have, let's say, uh, imagine some sort of thick clay, right? And you sort of mash it down, right, to sort of hollow it out to make it into a, like a candle, right? There are candles you stay have. Basically, it was like a, almost like a cup with like a, a, a bowl, almost like a cup that would hold the oil and there would be a wick attached to it. So by pressing it down, he's sort of making himself a, a, a candle, so you can't go ahead and hollow out this 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 nair because he's making a cleat. Beyond the person cannot go ahead and make charcoal on Yantif. We'll soon see what the charcoal is used for, right? Not used for cooking, rather it's used for uh, uh, blacksmiths and goldsmiths. You can't go ahead and cut a wick in half and two. But Rav Yudah says you can go ahead and you can cut it or split it using the fire. Fire can go ahead and divide it, then we'll soon see in the Gemara. So Zuck, the Gemara Man Tana, the Bechisas Ner Manahu, who was the Tana who holds that making a, uh, just taking clay and hollowing it out is considered to be making a cleat. Now, there is no sort of fi- you know, finishing blow that comes afterwards, such as, you know, putting it in the kiln and then heating it up and hardening it. So the opinion of Ramer is the Tana, but in a price, a cleat, Harris, name is the Kabbal Tuma. So a kli cheres, at what point is in the Kabbal Tumah? Mi shenig mora malach. So the Rameir. Rameir says once you, it has been formed, right? Once it has been formed, that's where it cleats the Kabbal Tumah. That's where it's a kli. And Rabbi Shua Aymer, and Rabbi Shua says, Mi shenig mora malach. Right? When uh, you heat it up in the kivshan, right? In, in, in the furnace, in the kiln, right? So... According to Red Mayor, it doesn't need to be heated up, right? It's just even going ahead and hollowing it out. So hollowing out is the making of a cleat. Or Lama Bay is a medal. So Omerle Abaye. So Abaye gives the answer. Right by the uh, the, the Tosas over there, right next to the Tosas of uh, Alfsin. So Omerle Abaye. So Abaye says, Me mine. So he says, Who says, Made the same case? Dilma Ad, come like a Red Mayor, Hasamelo, the Chas of the Kalavi Midi. Maybe over there we're talking about a larger, a larger vessel, a larger clee, and therefore is able to hold things, let's say fruit and, and, and such. And therefore there was a use, even before it was heated up, about huh, my husband over here is so small, right? You can't hold fruit, so what's it good for? The rest is now the kibule bay pshite. To go ahead and basically hold coins, right? Hold something very small, you know, you need someone to put your paper clips. So that can be put in this little cle, so therefore it is a useful, a serviceable cle. And therefore, even hollowing out, perhaps our mayor would say that it is uh uh, uh be to bake onions. And Ika Dami, some of a different version, I'm gonna have Yesef, but as a red sadak, it's a bit of really as a red sadak. Did now with an Amishna Al Pas in the Kharanis Taharis, but you'll have with me as the Masaza. So these. Alpasin Charonius, right? So these plates from Charonius, they had these basically certain plates. They, they were simple villagers. They were simple people that uh, would not need very fancy uh, uh, kalim. And therefore, they're, you know, they wouldn't go ahead and, and make, you know, beautiful uh, uh, dishes and round them out sort of like bowls and make them you know, expensive items. Rather, what they would do is, you know, they would sort of just have sort of like a, you know, flat, uh, ceramic, you know, uh, uh, plates without even you do it really just, you know, smashing it down, and that would be their cleats. So according to the Tanakama, right, so they are tar and oil and mace, because by oil and mace it says, it's referred to a cleat, and it refers to a cleat, anything that's inside it. So it's referring to a cleat that is able to hold something. So these plates, which were flat, which were not, could, cannot hold anything, so therefore those were considered to be tar. However, it comes to Tumas uh, Zav, Right uh, when it comes to uh, basically a, a tumah zav, which doesn't have to be on, uh, doesn't have to be mikabel kli, even if a zav is next to it, right? Uh, tumah heset, right? They'll be it'll be tummy. And Rebbe Zavod Tzadok, after Haris Masa Zav, Mefishlo Nigra Malachta. And according to Rebbe Zavod Tzadok, right, it's because their malacha they were not finished, therefore it's not considered to be a kli, and therefore. Um, 
since it, they're not hollowed out, therefore there's not a cleave. But according to sounds like Rabbi Ezra and Sadok, if it was hollowed out, it would be considered a cleave. So therefore, our Mishnah, which says Ein Paich Sinas and Air, I'm pretty sure sickly, could be perhaps the opinion of Rabbi Ezra and Sadok. So my Rabbi Duma, no, I can't let you cover Rabbi Ezra and Sadok because some El the Chazik will be meeting. Over there, it was only he said he was could hold something that was it was larger. But over here, a small, right, a small nair, right, a small a sun which would just hold oil for a candle. Is not if it's not, you know, what, what could it be hold if you don't go ahead and heat it up? So the answer is once again, look at the way it in order to go ahead and hold coins. But Tanner Abundant, where the Tanner Abundant, the bottom uh, towards the bottom of Lamed Beis of an Aleph. Yeah, so um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, eight, eight, nine lines from the bottom. Ten rabbanon and lamed beis mitzvah. Ten rabbanon ain't pachsinas pachsinas and there ain't oisin absin charnios biyamta. One is not allowed to go ahead and basically form and and hollow out a this uh, you know little ceramic piece of clay, right? Making a kli a nair. And also, you can't go ahead and make these plates. Uh, Rabbi Shimon Gavil Matzer, he says, Matzer be afsin charanios. Samai charanios. What are these? Samai uh, charanios. I'm Rabbi Yehuda. So he's Aronios. So simple. So Aronios. Okay, thank you. I'm Aronios. So I'm Rabbi Yehuda. So he's Right. So those are the plates of the people from the village, from the small town. So that was their plates. They. So in other words, they used to have basically plates that were not hollowed out. They were simple, uh, almost like flatware. And then we said, "Vei nice in chamin." Right? Probably should have two dots, you know, before and after. So there's a quote from the mission that says, "Vei nice in chamin." So what's the shita? So lemay chazi. So you know, what else? Uh, you know, if, if charcoal is used for making gold, you know, for for gold and, and silver, so why wouldn't? It, why would you think it's not? Uh, you know, he, uh, right? Why you can make it? Kind of chia. Vei nischel lemaisan. Maybe you want to go ahead and send it to the bathhouse. To go ahead and heat up the water in the bathhouse. To bathe and you to go ahead and heat up water. So that is us. There was like Zerah. So over here, but we're talking about only to go to a bathhouse for, for a Schwitz. Right? So to heat up, one could go for a Schwitz. And this is before the Zerah uh, that they shouldn't go ahead and heat it up. For a Schwitz, right? So I can have a over here. Then was, that was a test, uh, an answer that Rubba said in another place. He says this is before the Xer. So over here, it said you can make the, 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 the charcoal. You might think you can make the charcoal because there is some use sort of usage in order to go ahead and have a Schwitz and Yantif. And it's before the Xer that one is not to go ahead and uh, go for a Schwitz. You can't go ahead and cut a wick into two. So my the law. What's the reason why you can't do it with a knife? But uh, Rabbi Yudas says you can do it with fire. Why? So my answer. So, so it says. Turn the page. Right. Quick. The kimasakin mana. Bor. I excuse me. The kimasakin mana because he's making a a, 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 a kli. So bor nami. Right. Kimasakin mana. I with the, even when you do it, use fire. You're also going to be masakin a mana. You're making a utensil by going ahead and basically making this wick. Huh? Right. So it goes. Uh, Rashi says, "Achas ha'isav oisa oisa gushtai." I'm gonna make it to two. So since you're making another usable wick, it's like being masakim up. Right. All right. Good question. Let's see. Uh, all right. Fine. Yep. Yeah. I don't see any. It doesn't bring down any you know, discussion regarding. So Tanya Bchia. So Chayska Baor. So he says now, and so the grand says now. So I. Fire. So he said Chayska Baor. Uh, now, what it is, is he has a, he can burn a wick that's into two different neiros, but as it burns, then on its own, they separate. So since they go and they separate, so it's not that he just makes a fire and it makes it into two. Rather, he lights one and then the wick, you know, as it burns down, then all of a sudden it's two different, you know, then it goes into two different, uh, uh, you know, camps. And Omar, Rav Nosen, Barab, Omar, Rav, you can go ahead and trim a wick on Yantif. Cigars is my thing. So I'm Rabbi Bashamia La Rui La Duye Khoshka to go ahead and remove the dark from it. And in other words, uh, I guess some of the you know some of the, the black that's on it to make it burn better, you can go ahead and uh, trim that off. <coughs> so Tani Bar Kavara. 
Yeah. So I think right, uh, yeah. that yeah. one is that referring to that. That helps them beat up the bad guys. I, I well, think they use that. No, no, no. So, no, no, no. So, no, 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 no that charcoal was, no, that charcoal was real char the real charcoal. And we said it's austere to do. And the girl says, it's, it's posture, it's obvious. Why would you think there's a use of charcoal on Yontif? Uh, so you might have thought you could maybe make charcoal because there is a use for charcoal on Yontif. What's the use? It's not the, having to do with the candle. Right, right. This is a completely different oh, charcoal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is both. Right, right. Right, yeah, yeah. correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So tiny very cool. So, yeah. So it's early. Shisha Dvarim Nemru Bipsilo. There were six things that were said by Psilo Gil Hakim Gil Hakim. So three were of Mahmir and three were of Mako. La Hachmir, Mahmir said, A Goy the Nisa the Khakil Yantif. You can't go ahead and twist it in Yantif. Ve Mahabdu no Sabah Ori, because also can't go ahead and singe it right the fire, right? Maybe people singe it before uh Shabbos, right? Vein Khaiskin by so the shine. Can't go ahead and cut into two. And la hakel, what the halach says la hakel. So it says mechav yad. You can go ahead and press it together with your hand. Not twist, but you can press it together. By the shor of you can go ahead and soak it in oil. The chayz chavor v'vish So you go ahead and basically cut it in, or split it with a with a fire. Right? If it's in two different candles, then you know it's let it burn, and then it goes into two different ways. V'amarav and rav nos parav amarav asirei bavel yorde gehenem heim. Strong statement. So he says the wealthy of bavel. They're going to go on to Gehenna. Why is that? Ki ha de Shabsai Bamarinus. One time, Shabsai Bamarinus. I guess it's a big tzaddik. He glow above hell. He was about the above hell. And boy, man, I eat a couple He was looking for some, 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 uh, some business, some way to support himself. Um, you know, he says, okay, just give me some of your wares. I'll sell them. We'll split the profits. And they didn't give him. The Zayne is looking for food. He's an amulet. They also wouldn't give him food. Some are Hani Marev, heir of Ravkos. Right. These people are not, they don't have uh, Jewish uh, neshamas, right? They're not giving people, they're not generous people. They must be from the Erev Rav. The Chesit Pasuk says, right? So it says that the, the, the Jewish people have Rachmim. If someone has Rachmim, you know he's from the, the, from the seed of Avram Avinu. But if he doesn't have uh, Rachmim, he's not uh, merciful. Then uh, you know that perhaps he, uh, or you know, he's not coming from the uh, from the lineage of Avram Avinu. Oh, I mean, why is this? Why was it set over here? Um, so random. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to phrase it because there's because of Rav Nassim. Rav Nassim, yeah, I was, I was looking at the name. Rav Nassim Barabba. Let's see. Rav Nassim Barabba Barabba. Right, he was the one who says Meichtin is a psil of He was the one, right? So he was the one who said earlier. So oftentimes, right? Oh, they, yeah. Person who goes ahead and looks right to feed himself off other people's tables, right? He has to go around, you know, knocking on doors for to uh, support himself. Shnaras Pasik says, right? Person who goes ahead and wanders and says, you know, where is it? Where's his bread? So that person, his live his life is uh, it's it's darkness. Even his life is not a real life. A person has to live like that. There are three people whose lives is not really not real life. One who goes ahead and basically seeks in order to support himself from someone else's table. The right? person whose wife rules over him. Right? It's amazing how all of these three are like on the same level, right? And somebody who's, uh, uh, he has tremendous yisurin, right? Tremendous pains and, and his body. <laughs> tremendous pains in his body. The guy has to, you know, beg for food. And his wife is, uh, it rules over him. <laughs> the person doesn't have only one shirt, right? He has uh, lice, right? So, so also such a person is not real life. So, I, why just one with one shirt? So, I've shed the mind. Right? person is able to go ahead and sort of, you know, pick off the lice and perhaps, you know, sort of, uh, you know, fix it uh, on his own. Fine. Zach the mission. I am mission. Mishnah says, Ein shaivrin es acheres, ein choyzchin haniyar, itzlach bo maliach. A person cannot go ahead and break a piece of uh, earthenware of cheres or, or I guess some sort of paper, I guess not the paper that we have as, as flammable, right? 
in order to go ahead mm -hmm. and salt a, a fish. I guess they used to go ahead. You, you don't want That's to go. Right. I guess they wouldn't want to burn it so quickly. In other words, if they would go ahead and burn it the regular way, then the fish would be overcooked. So they used to go ahead and light under, under something underneath it. But you can't go ahead and make that cheres or the niar in order to go ahead and roast it. Even though this, you know, for the purpose of uh, of then you can't do that on yant. Then you can't go ahead and, and, and shovel it out inside, uh, inside your stove. About you go ahead and press it down. You can't go ahead and take two barrels, position them next to each other, and then put maybe like your, your pot on top in order to cook it, because that's similar to be to be uh, to bona, right? To constructing, to building. We'll soon see. Because you also can't go ahead and support. Right, your kadera, your pot, right, with a piece of wood, or with a door. We'll have to explain what that means, right? Vein is the can't go ahead and lead your, your animal with a, with a stick and yantif, right? It appears that a piece is taken out to market. Shimon says you go ahead and be matir to be manik to go ahead and lead your animal with a with a maka. Uh, I believe, yes. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. The only one of us, uh, you know, one time. So, all right, fine. So, exactly one. Let's see. My time. What's going on here? <coughs> so, if we start off, ancient as the chesed says, a chayz given near the sof of Elias. We said, my time. I'm sure come a car to call masaki mana. He's being masaki mana. He's making a a kli. He's making these as a cooking utensil, and therefore, uh, it would it would be forbidden. They can go from Tana Bukhi, right? No, it's uh, hot thing. Uh, Thirty-nine. Uh, right. So I. So, so you can even you do it in right? not cutting way, you 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 break it apart, whatever for that. Right. Yeah. So then go from Tana Bukhi. I can go and shovel out. So Tana Bukhi bar Yosef coming to the Nachav. Even if shalafa, so they can can grow for them mutter. However, if there's no other way of using the stove, then you're allowed to go ahead and and, and shovel it out. And the Vesidra Rabbi Chia, the wife of Rabbi Chia, Nafala Aricha Betanur Rabbi Yom Tov. So one time, Aricha, one of the bricks fell off the side, inside the oven, uh, 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 the, the oven of Rabbi Chia. So he said to his wife, Amala Rabbi Chia, Chazi Da'an Arifta Melia Sabina. By the way, I like uh, only perfect bread. So uh, get in there and make sure you shovel it out and you're allowed to do it. In other words, he basically said, he's not just such a case that we said if it's impossible to use it, right, to make the proper bread, then you can go ahead and shovel it out. So he was saying that, right, you can't, uh, you know, in order to make the proper bread for me, you have to shovel it out. And Omar lay Rav the Shami, one time Rav said to a Shamash, he says, bar Hamza, right, these darts, mecharucha. So he said, and, uh, you know, make for me a bar Hamza, uh, right, a goose, right, and make sure it's, it's cooked uh, well inside the, uh, Inside the oven, I have to go ahead and you know shovel it out if need be. And Amar le Ravina Ravashi, Amar Lan, so he says Amar le Ravina Ravashi, Ravina said Ravashi, so Amar Lan Rav Acha Mivusel, Demar Sharki le Tanru Biyamtava. He said, he said, so we were told by Rav Acha Mivusel that you right. Uh, this is what Ravina saying Ravashi. So he said that basically you Ravashi, you were the one uh, that you were allowed to go ahead and spread mud. And Yontif onto your tunnel, right? So you're, you have to do it. So how could you go ahead and sort of be, is it a problem of being a megabble going ahead and making the mud with the, with the dirt and the water? So he said to him, no, no, no. He says, it's because where we live. So he says, right? We basically go ahead and we live by the Euphrates, right? We live by the Euphrates and therefore this mud is readily available for us. And it's only basically if he sort of marked off the mud from the day before, basically he prepared the mud that he was going to go ahead and use in his stove, right, in order to go ahead and cook it. Right? Also, ashes can be used also for that purpose, I guess, to smoothen it out and for it to cook better as long, you know, as, as the, um, you know, those are set aside because those are also, you don't you go ahead and be megabola. It's not a problem of making it like you would make mud, you know, with water and dirt. You can't go ahead and take two barrels next to each other. So Amarav Nachman of Adam Shabbat Saki say much of the Tzad of Yantav. You can go ahead and um, basically take stones and set up a Beis Saki say. I guess to sit up. You can't take two stones, right? Then you sit at it 
and then uh, I guess to leave some space in between the stones, and that would be your your toilet, your your outhouse. So, you, your, uh, so it says you're allowed to do that. Muslims have to be yontef. Say say Rav Lord of Nachman, Ema Kivin Shtei Chaviz Lishpaz Alevus Hakadero. I what about the case of Kadero? He said he can't take two barrels in order to put a pot on top. Right? Why are you allowed to go ahead and you know set up two large stones? So really, Shani Hasan, the Mishum to go Avida Ohal. Since over there, where, what's the binion? The binion is that you're, you're, you set up two things in the bottom and then you put something on top. So it's not so much setting up the bottom, it's doing the bottom and then putting something on top like an OL. That is the issue there. So therefore, when you go ahead and set two stones to go sit upon, right? So you're not the OL, right? So therefore, that's okay. But as opposed to the pot, there'll be no good. And Amrle, Rabba Zutta Ravashi, Elmiata, Bana Yitza, Biontif, Tulav, you know, Hakanami, the Shari. Well, you want to go ahead and build an Yitzaba, right? Build some sort of a, a, a couch, right? Or a kisa shel binyan, right? The, some sort of uh, um, you know bench, right? That you know you build it with bricks. That's okay to do because there's no uh, there's no ohel there, right? So really, hasa binyan kavua asutara over there. That's binyan kavua. You're setting up a stone. That's more binyan kavua. Binyan rai lo asutara. When it comes to binyan rai, then the Torah did aser. It goes rabon now binyan rai mishum binyan kavua, and then the Torah says, okay, even something which is a temporary structure is aser because the Torah asers a permanent structure. And so what about the basic? He say over here because of the kavod, right? We don't they don't aser it. In other words, because the basic he say is only a binyan rai, right? It's a temporary dwelling. So when it comes to a temporary dwelling of let's say an itztaba, so that was there's a gzera. That is gzera because of you might go ahead and build something permanent. But when it comes to a toilet building, you know, just putting two stones there, which is also a temporary structure, that because of the, his cupboard, you know, people who are in the bathroom, we say there's no gzera in that case, you can go ahead and build it. Fine. Bottom line, Amar Rav Yehuda, hi, Medurasa, a Medura, uh, right? A, a bonfire. Milamala, lamata, shari, milamata, lamala. You want to go ahead and build a bonfire? Sort of, uh, you need a couple people with you. You tie the bottom, you sort of, you know, I guess you hold, uh, I guess, the logs on top first, and then you sort of, you know, slide the logs that go underneath it. That would be mutter as opposed to building it, you know, bottom layer of logs and then the other, you know, sticks on top. That would be us, because that would be similar to. So if you do it in the opposite order, top to bottom, right, do, then it'll be mutter. And how do you do it? You need many people. Don't, That's don't the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. Right. You can't build it yourself. Mother. You can't really build it. Yeah. You're saying it's four people, right? <laughs> right. So even though it, it, it doesn't, right? It's like a metal stand that lets you raise the top yeah. and forth bottom. Right. Right. So too by uh, eggs. I guess he wants to go ahead and and, and place eggs. On top of uh, also something where somewhere to cook it, so you can't go ahead and build it with the egg on top. You sort of got to hold the egg on top and then sort of build it underneath it, top to bottom. V'chein kadeir is also by pot. V'chein puri over a bed. V'chein chavisa also by barrels. Also, you want to go ahead and stack barrels once again. Stack it from um, you know from top to bottom, which is an unusual way, and therefore it's not the regular way of binyan of being binyan. Right, the ain't same because the but be of him does. You can't go ahead and put a door, uh, a kadera pot on wood, and so too by a door. So the Dallas talk that's what do you mean? You can't put a pot on door. What are you talking about? What's, what's going on? It's El Ema, the Dallas. You can't go ahead and support a door with a piece of wood, putting wood underneath it. Once again, you're using the wood to be baina. Right. And that's right. So that's something which is perhaps is not right, not muksa, but you're being baina. And therefore, that will be us. And Tanar Abana ain't same thing as Kadeir Levika, Svechen Adela, Svechen Adela, Svechen Adela, it's in the Hasaka. Because the wood can only be touched for Hasaka. Right? And I'll sort of, you know, let's touch on this right now. Right? How do we, what are we talking about? So wood is normally Moksa. But wood and Yantav is not Moksa. Why? Because it can be used for firewood. But it's not all wood. Right? It's only really wood that's it's normally designated for the use. The person sets it aside for fuel, right? Or it's you know something that's in the usual place of uh, 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 firewood. But stam wood that would be muksa, and therefore you can't use it for other purposes for for putting things on top or, or you know putting pots on top or something like that because the wood can only be used and moved for for ochel nefesh for using it to fuel your fire, but not using it uh, to support other things. And however, Rabbi Shimon we know is maker when it comes to muksa. He's 
can't go ahead and use a stick right, to go ahead and lead your animal. Yonzef Rav Ezra Shimon says, Smoke. So, Rav Ezra Shimon, Babu's feeling. He holds like his father, the less they books, right? Let's say Rav Ezra Shimon holds like his father when it comes to the, uh, uh, when it comes to Muksa. That was that Muksa doesn't apply. So, where's this? No, low, no. Well, if you look at Shimon, my dad, Bishim the Chazi, come on, there's the Right. So over here, maybe even in this case, even though he's morally makele by Moksa, but maybe over here it looks like he's leading his animal to market. So even but you can't say Reb Shimon necessarily says it's Mukta because uh, the, the you know the, 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 the <coughs> stick is it's not Moksa. Maybe even the stick is not Moksa, but it looks like you're leading your animal with the stick. It looks like you're taking it to the market. So if you're just walking with the stick, it wouldn't be a problem, Reb Shimon. Here, right. 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 The issue was, is looking at he was taking it to the animal so, to market. So Reb Shimon is even more modest. Right. Right. Yeah. Right, so he says A is not an issue of moksa, and B that it's there's no in this case that's you know mixing the you know azel chinda. Right, chinda I guess is yeah business right. Fine. Mechol v'al shem shem liadam sevim ha'ichel meshuk kein sevis mecha. Right, mechala is kalei chinda. Fine. So now we say chizra. So a chizra, right, that the Rashi describes is basically a branch, right, that's sharp, and they can basically use it as a sheep food, as a, uh, what's it called, a, a steak, as a, uh, a spit, to go ahead and use it for, you know, roasting things. So he takes this branch chizra, Rav Nachman, Aser. Rav says, sorry. Rav Nachman says, Aser, right? He, wood is only used for, for, for fuel. You can't use it for other purposes, so this branch can't be used for that. And Reishish is motor. Right, right. So let's see, let's see what's going on. So if it comes, if it's we're talking about something which is wet, a wet stick, everyone says it's us, sir, because you can't. No, see, we're even talking about even before now, right? Even before the stick. Right. No. So one says you can only use you can't what even use wood for other reason. So one, if you hold that no. wood, since the wood can be burnt, right. right? The main purpose of wood is to be burnt. So the shaila is, so wood then is supposed to be burnt. Let's say like this branch. Okay. Since it's not moksa, because I could burn it, maybe I could use it for something else, similar to ochel nefesh, like using it, you know, to right. put my marshmallow on. Right. So maybe that's what the other opinion say. Wood is only not muksa if you're going to take it and put it in the fire. But you can't start using it for whatever you want. We only permitted it to use it for your fire. So if it's wet and it's not used for the fire, everyone says it's us, or you can't use it for other purposes, even, even though it's for a food purpose. So when it's dry, the reason why is the wood can only be handled only for the purpose of going ahead and throwing it in your fire. Right? No, I'm, I'm using it for Ochel Nefesh. What does it make a difference whether I'm using it for the fuel or whether I'm using it to, to hold something over the fuel, right over the fire? So it should be mutter. So that was the reason according to our Sheshis. And he could have a different version of the Smach like us. If it's dry, everyone agrees. Even Rab Nachman agrees that it's mutter because he can use it. So keep pleading. They argue when it comes to a wet one. Man, the usher, the lech has a suck. Right? So he says, if it's a wet one, man, the chazi, man, the usher, the lech has a suck. You can't go ahead, since you can't go ahead and, and burn it. So therefore, it's no good. Man, the shari. And the one says, mother, I'm the chazi, the has a god. It can be used for a big fire, a big bonfire. It can be mutter, you know, it can be thrown in there. It can be used as fuel. So therefore, it's not muksa. The hilkasa and the halach is, um, if it's dry, then it's mutter or tivasa. But if it's wet, then it's usher. You can't go ahead and use it, uh, even to use it as a spitz, you know, to, to roast your marshmallows or whatever else you want. And Doresh Rava Isha Loi Tikanis Ladira Eitzinito Mehen. So it says Rava, right? A woman should not go ahead into a uh, shed. Right and uh, or, right to area and go ahead and take out a piece of wood right to use for for uh, right uh, like a, a, a poker something to use with the fire. 
Uchin each bra, so that's it. Be yantav. Even a ud that broke on yantav, you can't go ahead and use the broken parts on yantav. Levi shemasiki bekelim, ve'ema siki b'shiber kelim. Right, we saw as machlokas before. Through a uh, brisa, right, or through a machlokas, right. So according to this opinion, you can't go ahead and uh, you can burn kelim because those are not muk. So once something is broken, then it becomes muk. So you can't even throw the broken parts into the fire. It's not necessarily a muk. Right. Yeah. yeah th- right. Correct. Yes. Right. Um, fine. It doesn't say why. All right. So the, it was the name of the Rabbah, Rabbi Yehuda, is right? The Isle Moksa. He tells me he holds like Rabbi Yehuda, right? That these things are Moksa, right? That he holds a Moksa. All Amar Le, Rabbi the Shame, Tavili Bar Absa, the Shadi Bar the Shudra. Go ahead and make a, a, a goose for me and throw its innards, right? I'm not going to go ahead and use it and give it to the cat. So over there, that case, if he held like Rabbi Yehuda, the Moksa. So why did he allow that, right? Because it went bad on Yantav, just like a, a, a broken clee goes bad. And you say you can't use the piece of broken clee, it's muksa. So too, the intestines of his goose should also went bad on Yantav, just like a clee that broke, and should be muksa. So why did he prevent the throat? It's awesome. Kevin, this, uh, the Sarchi may as well die, Taylor. Over there, since he knew he was going to have goose. And he knew he wasn't going to go ahead and eat the intestines. It was like the intestines were prepared. It wasn't like something that was unknown. All of a sudden, the clee broke, and now you have broken pieces, and now it's moksa. No, over here, he knew he was going to eat, the, I guess, certain parts of the goose, and certain parts he was going to take out, and those were going to spoil for another time. So therefore, it was basically considered to be prepared, and therefore it's not moksa, and therefore he can go ahead and give it to the cat. Fine. Now you missed it. Missed it on the bottom of Lama Gimel. I'm an owl. When, when, when you check the animal, the entire animal, the hoofa from before. Correct. Right. And you you got to use the, the... Right. But once he separates it now, and he's not going to go ahead and, and use the intestines, right? Now he's not going to use the intestines. It basically spoils that the day of on Yantif. So now it's Muxa has no use. Because I'm not going to eat it. I'm, my, my guests aren't going to eat it. So he held that since I knew that it was going to be spoiled the next day because I could just put it in the fridge, right? So I knew that. So therefore, it was like it was mukhan for that purpose, and therefore it was not muksa. I'm able to go ahead and feed the cat. Fine. Zak the Mishnah, Rabbi Yezer Aimer, Noitel Adam Kisem with the Shilafanov, Lachot Lachtoit Boshinov. They're very big. They're very into this. A person's allowed to go ahead. Right, take a uh, piece of toothpick. Uh, a, 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 right, toothpick or a piece, a little piece of wood, in order to use it as a toothpick. Magavi being a chutzir malik, he also can go ahead and gather the wood and from his chutzir and be malik it and use it and then and light it. Shekol ma'ashiv chutzir mukhanu, because everything in the chutzir is considered to be mukhan. Chaim ma'amim magavi b'dishal of malik, right. A person go ahead and gather with us in front of them and burn it. And a or and a new halacha, right? You can't go ahead and start a fire, right? Lomina eats him, lomina vanim, right? We're going to assume sure. that he's creating it. <coughs> this, right? He's starting a fire, so you can't start it on yantav, not from wood, not from stones. I guess flint stones, right? Lomina offer or dirt. I guess dry dirt. So, so you can do it from the case some in your house, but not from the log in your back. No, 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 no. This is there's a new halacha. You can't start a fire. You can't start a fire. <coughs> there's no case. Eimatzinasur loy mina eitzim loy mina vanim loy mina afar loy mina five loy mina mine. It's a new case, right? You can't start oh. a fire for any of these things, right? Not from uh, or, or even from tiles. We'll soon see that case. You, you, they burn them together, or water, right? You use the the sun through uh, some sort of glass holding water you know over straw and then i guess you know makes the, you know, the sharp points and then right so almost like i guess our magnifying glasses or whatever you did as a kid um you also gotta go ahead and hit the tiles in order to go ahead and cook on them. we'll see we'll also have to explain this case so we started off by discussing wood to use it as uh, for a toothpick, right? So if it's a wood in front of you, you can go ahead and use it for your teeth. You can use it for a fire. Fine. So I'm Rabbi Yehuda. So it says Rabbi Yehuda, right? Stop the page on Lama Gil Obeys. So Oichle Behema Ein Behem Now, if you have 
a, you want to go ahead and take some of the straw that was in front of the animal. It was used as feed, right? So that you're not making a cleaner by taking, oh, this is a good piece of wood or this is a good piece of straw. Because that was, it's, it's not, uh, there's no team clean because that was already, um, uh, it was already considered to be animal, uh, you know, animal food. And therefore, there's no clean that comes from it. In this cash. Person, go ahead and take right. Take some sort of besamim, right? The, the 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 some you know twigs of besamim to smell them, or to go ahead and with the honey pan the to wave them in front of a chayla. We saw this earlier, right? To go ahead and sort of roll it to smell it. However, you can't go ahead and cut it in order to smell it. And if he does go ahead and he cuts it, right, for the purposes of smelling, right, then it's pater velas. Now, then you're not allowed to do it, but there is no, you're not or something uh, like to that man. Also, to go ahead and cut a piece of wood in order to make a toothpick out of it, you shouldn't go ahead and cut it. But if you cut it, then you're chayiv achatis. So now, so what's the question over here? So in the case of the food we said earlier, right? It was what he said, um, right? So so over there, there is no uh, there is no problem in that case, right? Um, but over here, right? When it comes to um, the, the animal, right? Because so um, so um, one second, let me question my... right? So in this case, that. You have wood that, let's say, come come from animal feed. So if it comes from animal feed, so why would you be chayv in that case? You just said anything that's eichle behema is no good. But over here, it seems to see that or there was, that's not masak and cleave. But over here, we see that even if it's from eichle behema, one could be chayv, right? So and uh, and Rav Yehuda says all types of wood, right, is mutter. Any type of thing that's from animals, right. Eichle behema is mutter. And over here we see that if there is something to even as Eichle behema, one would be chayiv for. So, Amr lei, hash to pater vel asr kakashli, chayiv chadas right? So you're asking over there, you're asking, you asked in the case over there, if it was, um, there's two cases there. One was pater vel asr, that you'd be chayiv for, right? And then also, right, and you asked in the case of chayiv chadas. So he's saying, your kasha from Chayv Chadis, you didn't even have to ask for there. You couldn't even ask for Patav Asr. I says, Mutzal Lechad Chila, right? Pony, I see, the opinion was Mutzal Lechad and one of the, uh, the opinions of the cases were Patav Asr, and even Chayv Chadis, depending on the case of what the reason why you cut it for. But either way, according to you, it was Mutzal, so it's a kasha. So, Ela Kitanya, he be kasha. Those cases over there that said your Chayv was not talking about the softer straw, right? That is uh, uh, that, that was being used. There was that which Rabbi Yudas said is mutter, and you're never masaking kli is when it's soft. Over here, we're talking about things that were hard. Things that were hard, since that's not considered to be animal food, then it depends if you did it for smelling. So that's not the real reason. So therefore, you're, it's part of the And if you did it to make a toothpick, then you're masaking money be chayv chatz. already a kli, and now you're perfecting the kli, but the there's no there's no no, because you're right. You're making you're making a kli. It wasn't a toothpick before. Now you're making a toothpick. No, you're making it. Also, uh, that does not apply to animals, right? Right. So the Gemara says, well, what, what do you mean? You're talking about this is hard. So where is there something that's hard that you can roll it and it, it can smell? So the Gemara says, no. Chasurim Really, it's missing a part. This is how it's read. You're allowed to go ahead and roll it and smell it and cut it Mariachbo, or go ahead and cut it and smell it. Kamed tarmurin berakin. Only we're talking about soft. Baba caution, but if it's hard, then like nation cut it, the cut to a pot of a lusser, the chasma chasida, loyal eat of him cut to a high chats. But however, if it's hard, then if you cut it for the purpose of smelling as pot of a lusser, and if you cut it for the purposes of using as a toothpick, then you're a high of a chats. Fine. Satani chada, we learn in one brisa, kites bow, mariach bow, you go ahead and cut it and smell it. Tani idak, another brisa says, like menu, lariach bow. You can't go ahead and cut it to smell it. And on Rabzei, on Rabbi Chizal, like Kasha, Habe Rabin, Habe Rachin, Habe Bekoshin. One is the case when it's soft. If it's soft and it's similar to animal food, and then the, uh, it, um, then you're allowed to go ahead and cut it to smell it. And the other one, it's hard, then you shouldn't go ahead and cut it to smell it. 
So Maskiva Rav Acha Bar Yaakov, the Kashin of why can you not use hers? Right? Why is it any different than that which we learned in the Mishnah? Shaver Adam as a Chavis Lechel Mimena Grudras, Vajay Lois Kavin Lasses, Kli. A person's allowed to go ahead and break open a barrel, right, in order to go ahead and eat figs from there, right, dried figs, the Grudras from there. However, you shouldn't have intentions of making a Kli, right? So there, so if you hold that you can't go ahead and make from hard, right? Um, so shouldn't this case be us, sir? But we see this case is, uh, this case is mutter, right? So why is caution not good when it comes to making a splinter? And furthermore, when they were in the house of Rabbi Huda, right? He would go ahead and give us basically strip the branches and give us these these big branches. And Afagav the Chazi Liktasa Degari Vichasini. And even though these were these branches, they, they would give their smoothened branches were able to be used as handles, right? For to, to, to for, for as an axe or to chop things, right? So why over there was there no issue of being Masaki Mana? But over here, when it comes to you know just to, to use a little piece of wood as a, as, as a toothpick. Right, that is Masaki Mana. This isn't like Kash. Ha Rabbi Yezir, ha Rabban. Two different opinions. One of Rabbi Yezir, one of the Rabban. Titan, you were learning the rice. So Rabbi Yezir, I bear. Naitel Adam Kisa Melishi the fun of Lichat Vashinov. A person is allowed to go ahead and take a you know a, a splinter, a piece of wood in front of him to use it as a toothpick. The Chaim Rabim Ella. You can't create it, but if it's there. Already created. Right, you can take that. Mm-hmm. Only if it's basically in front of an animal, if it's food, right? If it's basically basically uh, food and it's not a, a, a something, right? It was ready, uh, uh, you know, uses animal food, right? And therefore, uh, there's no uh, issue of there making a cleave from animal food. The shoving shaloik to meno. But they both agree, right? That you shouldn't go ahead and cut it. You cut the lich says, but shinov leaves up the Dallas. If you go ahead, but you go ahead and do cut wood from in front of you to either make up for your teeth or to open, uh, you know, to, to pick open a door. And if you do it accidentally, b'shayi b'shabes chayv chatas chayv chatas, and b'meizid b'yantiv, and he does it b'meizid on yantiv, then soif gets there by he gets malchus, he gets malchus in that case, right? So and, and included, right? Obviously, so over here it's included the case of also shayi and yantiv. Would be any other any type of yantav and also mazid and shabbos. Those cases aren't excluded. Um, DV oh, Rebbe Yisrael. Sorry, but the taking the trees off the wood off the trees. What I mean? Right. So so we'll soon see. So right, we'll soon see why he was bakel. Right. What what he was what he was make-o. So over right. here, right. In the previous case. Yeah. He was actually taking it from to do like karka. No, it wasn't separate from the ground. No, no, no. no. It was it was wood that was out was in wood. the chaser, right? And he was basically, you know, you know, you know stripping it or skinning it off the outer uh, edges, making like a smooth handle type of uh, you know piece of wood. It's so, always making the so over there, right? So no, no, we say the, uh... so let's see. So we said one is the pin of Rabbi Yezer, and the other is of So let's so let's see what they are. So one is Divir Rebbe Yezer. Chaim Rebbe Echad Zev Echad Zev Eina Elam Shem Shvos. Right, and Chaim is saying no. Both this one and that one are only because of a Shvos. There is no Darais. There's so even you go ahead and, uh, and and take the wood and cut it. It's only a Shvos, right? It's only a Shvos. Why? Rebbe Yezer to come to Hasam Chayiv Chatas. Over there, Eliezer mm-hmm. says, Chayv Chatas. Over there, Hacha Pater Velaser. But over here, would say in this case, if you go ahead and cut it for to go ahead and make yourself a cleave, such as a toothpick or something else. So that case is Chayv Chatas. Over here, the case <laughs> when you want to cut it in order to smell it, that's only Pater Velaser. And Rabban, the call, Amri Hasa, Pater Velaser. Over there, the Rabban will say, Echad Zeh, Echad Zeh, Ein Elm Shub Shvus. It's only a Shvus. So this is Rabban. Hach over here, when it comes to go ahead and for, for um, if you want to go ahead and cut it, in order to say for, for, for another reason, for smelling. Or for whatever it is, then motor lechachil. It's only motor lechachil. Ah, the last night Rabbi Yezer had the time. What about what would Rabbi Yezer say about that which is written in the Mishnah? Shevir Adam misachavis lechol b'menag rogos. Lashli is chavin lasses kli. You can go ahead and break as long as your intentions aren't to go ahead and to to make a uh, kli. 
So why can you do that? Shouldn't there be zera in such a case? They shouldn't be able to break open the barrel because one might come ahead and, and fasten a uh, utensil. So Ravashi Kitanyahi be mustaki. Over there, we're talking about that uh, right that those type of that type of wood was not something that was made into a kli, and therefore there was no chashash of reusing this wood as a kli or making the, the the fastening into something else. That was the reason why it was mutter to do it uh, uh is a temporary kli you know, <coughs> that is made from broken shards. Right. So therefore, so right. It's like glue together. It's, hard. it's only temporary. It's like a uh, plywood, or like that. Like it's, a, yeah, it's like the right. Which is basically a wrapper. Right. So it's not used. Right. So, so it, was, it was not used. It wasn't intended for permanent use. Which is what we said and exactly. That therefore there was no plea right. that was going to be made from it. One one does not go ahead and make a plea from such materials. Fine. So. So, excuse me. so then we said Megave Minachatzer. Person go ahead and gather right uh, wood or people, uh, fragments or hay from the from the chatzer from the yard for to make fire. So Tanur Abadan Megave Minachatzer Madi Shekol Ma Shebechatzer Muchanu because everything in the chatzer is Muchanu Bavad Shlo Yaset Sibur and Sibur as long as it doesn't make piles. Rabbi Shimon Matzer Rabbi Shimon says you go ahead and make piles. So why can we? He wasn't my focus here. Mar Saver Mitzay Tika Mechanik L'Machali Yamechrina. The one who holds that you make piles, it looks like you're making for several days. So therefore, according to that opinion, you shouldn't go ahead and make piles of your hay in your backyard. Uh, um, and therefore, my son, no, could there also be a lot of says, no, that it's much because look, the guy has a pot there. He has company coming over. It's obvious that the pile is for today. It's not for, you know, uh, in the future use. And eight months in a store, a person can go ahead and make fires. So my time, what's the reason? Right, so we say you can't make fire for any of those new materials. Mashum to call, my lead beyond he is being mighty, he's creating on Yantif. You know, you're allowed to go ahead and transfer a fire to, uh, you know, from one book to another, right? As we do on Yantif, right? You transfer fire to fire, you want to light candles, transfer, but you can't go ahead and strike a match or create a new fire because it's called mighty beyond. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they malavinous are, you can't go ahead and heat tiles. So, my coffee, what's the, what's the big deal about uh, heating up tiles on Yantif? So, I'm We're talking about new tiles. And new tiles, you can't go ahead and heat them up. Why? Because overhead, some people, uh, you have to go ahead and test them. You have to heat them up and see if they're good tiles. So you can't go ahead, and that's similar to being, uh, being uh, Masaki and Mana, right? I'm saying, you have to harden them, right? First, you have to harden them, heat them up, and then they become good tiles. So therefore, when you heat them up, it's like you're being Masaki in them, and that would be the reason uh, why you can't go ahead and harden the tiles uh, on Yantif. All right, we'll stop here. Because, uh, Somebody uh, won't worry. What you're doing. Well,